Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tech tip on automotive primers for your vehicle's bodywork. Are they waterproof? Will they stop rust? Uh, let's jump down the rabbit hole and have a look. Righto, so recently I've seen a lot of automotive YouTubers doing bodywork on their vehicles, coating the bare steel in primer and then leaving it out in the elements. And I've also seen a slew of old projects up for sale that have been say sandblasted and then etch coated or etch primed. The question is, is primer waterproof? And generally speaking, the answer to that question is hell no. Like primer generally is a porous product, but there are a few exceptions to the rule. Now here's where it becomes a bit of a minefield because it's dependent on the paint manufacturer, but one product that 100% will stay the same across the manufacturer is epoxy primer. Epoxy primer, no matter who makes it, should be waterproof and it is also very resistant to chemicals as well so it is a very good product for putting on the bare steel of your pro of your vehicle although you do have to make sure that the metal of the vehicle has been prepped properly so obviously you don't want any rust on there but it also needs to be keyed so if you haven't sandblasted the steel panel, then you need to go over it with 80 grit uh, sandpaper for keying the steel. And then your epoxy primer is going to adhere properly and you're not going to have any problems. And you can leave that outside in the elements and you know after six months, it should still be like perfectly fine. It does depend on the paint manufacturer and it's possibly pushing a bit because you don't want to leave things outside for too long because everything rusts if you leave it outside for too long. But Generally speaking, epoxy primer is across the board of the manufacturers gonna be a waterproof primer that you don't have to worry about once it's on. <clears throat> now, a lot of you are probably already sitting there going, oh, edge primer, edge primer, edge primer is great. And edge primer is great for what it does, but it has its drawbacks. And as I said, dependent on the manufacturer of the product, it may or may not be waterproof. For instance, the De Beer 1K etch primer, that is epoxy based. And so not only does it etch the metal, but it will actually be waterproof and protect the metal. Whereas the Eastwood 1K uh, etch primer, it says nothing in its product blurb about it being waterproof. It says that it's like great and this, that, and the other, and like it's a true like uh, etch primer yeah true etch primer sure it etches the metal and it'll stick to the metal but it doesn't say anywhere that it's actually waterproof and so that's what you have to look out for anything else like a, a 2k surfacer um, a 1k surfacer all your um, polyurethane polyester um, high builds and whatnot they are 100% porous and if you put them onto the steel and leave it outside it will rust okay another thing to keep in mind with etch primers and again it's completely dependent on the manufacturer of the product so you need to go and uh, read the TDS the technical data sheet before you even purchase the product and that's because you may be thinking that you can put your etch primer on and then do all your bodywork or your filler and this, that, and the other. Um, but it will say in the TDS what can be used on top of that etch primer. And for instance, the De Beer etch primer, it specifically states that both epoxy primer cannot be used on top of it and neither can this, that, and the other. The product in De Beer's case is just there for uh, say a, a brand new front wing or arch uh, you've got it down to bare steel it is there for etching the steel getting a primer down to be able to put on your base coat and your clear coat it is not there for doing body work so again it is completely 100 percent dependent on the manufacturer of that etch primer as to whether or not you can actually do your body working on top reason for that being is that because it has chemicals in it that actually do the etching those chemicals can then react with the filler that you're using on top 
So that's why they will say in the TDS whether or not it can actually be used as a base coat for doing your body work on. So yeah, quick tech tip for you there. If you want a primer that is 100% gonna be waterproof that you can put on your bare steel and you know you're not gonna be able to get all the body work done for like months on end and you don't wanna have any recurring rust issues, then epoxy primer is the way to go. You just gotta make sure that the bare steel is keyed correctly for it to adhere properly. If you wanna go down the etch primer route, then like I says, do check the product that you're thinking of using because it may or may not be what you're looking for. Okay, so I hope you found that uh, handy, helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. If you think someone you know will find that useful, then share it around. And of course, if you like what I get up to on my channel, then um, please subscribe. I'm currently in week six, seven of level four lockdown for COVID. Um, it's getting really boring, but at least, you know, got something to do with doing these videos. Um, so I hope everyone else is doing well out there and um, catch you on the next one.